You're still here. I can't believe it. I must be very engaging. What's going on everybody? This is Tony Redgrave here. Signing on for another little YouTube tutorial. How to own YouTube as it were. Not like PewDiePie of course because I think a lot of his subscribers aren't his subscribers. So alrighty pets. Ah. Uh, why is my tongue blue? Whatever. Uh, not the point. The point is, this video is going to actually tell you what you can and can do, can and cannot do once you monetize your account. Last video, I went a lot over not telling people to view your ads. Do not view the ads because a YouTuber tells you to. As a matter of fact, if a YouTuber tells you to view the ads, they're in trouble. Like I said, didn't tell anyone YouTube, but that's not what we're talking about this time. This time, we're talking about how you kind of, the can and cannots of videos. And the main one that I'm going to talk about is the copyrights. Here's the trick to the copyrights. <sighs> music is a definite no. Unless you get permission, do not put music at all. I mean, if you do, if you do, and you get lucky, and you manage to scrape by, sorry, I had stuff on my screen. You got lucky, put it that way. But that doesn't mean they won't flag you for it. Now, there's something that's a little different that we can talk about, and that's for the let's players out there. Let's players, you got a little bit more freedom. I know because I made sure. Now. In the copyrights for Let's Plays, which it's not separate, it is the same. It's just saying legally you can't use anything without anyone's permission. But for Let's Players, you are protected by the fair use, as I like to call it, bylaw. I'm not sure what the fair use actually is, but I like to call it a bylaw. Reason why, because it lets you bypass the copyright law, so to speak. Now, they could still flag you for this. But I doubt they'll take you to court. But under the fair use, you can upload any Let's Play you want. Whether it be for criticism, entertainment like I try to do, or just to show people how to play it. But when you do this, you leave yourself open to being flagged. Now you may be asking, why is Nintendo the only asshole that for some reason likes to flag n people? It's because they want money from the ad revenue. Well, YouTubers don't make a lot of money. I mean, I should know. I don't make nothing from YouTube, and all my videos are monetized. Including this one. If there was an ad, it's because it's monetized. If not, I guess you got lucky and missed the ad. <laughs> but, that's Nintendo. Now, why don't the other companies do it? Why doesn't like Sony say, hey, anybody who's playing PS4 videos, flag them unless they pay us like 40% of what they make? Well, the reason why is because it generates brand awareness. If, For instance, if you wear a shirt, like right now, for some reason I'm wearing this shirt, it's a uh, Florida Gator shirt, and normally I don't even wear t-shirts. Uh, not a sponsor, by the way, of the Florida Gators. I don't want to be a sponsor. I mean, if I end up being a sponsor of the Gators, that's a different story. But, I digress. Now, the gaming community, they like to generate brand awareness for their games. Well, the game developers and everything. So, for instance, with my, say, Gears of War Let's Play, anybody that views it, Epic is like, oh, hey, this guy's getting viewed. We're not going to flag him because people, he's getting people to buy our game. Because that's how it works. But that's just for you Let's Players. Now, everyone else, you got a little bit of trouble. And the reason why is because Let's, play, let's Plays, no matter what you do, they're always fresh. They're always new. Even if there's been a million other Minecrafters out there, your Minecraft Let's Plays are going to be different from everyone else's. Everyone else, though, who doesn't do Let's Plays or anything like that, it's a little bit, it's a little bit harder on YouTube. Sorry, my nose is messing up on me for some reason. 
Anyway, now that that's out of the way. For everyone else, like I said, it's a little bit harder because you got to think of something. you got to think of a niche, so to speak. Like, for instance, uh, never mind, I can't use that one. For instance, if you like to do top ten videos, well, Matthew Santoro has cornered the market via comedy. Because he's a lot more funny. Plus, just being able to see him do his top ten videos has helped him a lot. Not only that, he came in around the time when YouTubers were just starting to become big. Lucky him. It's the same thing as a lot of the other famous YouTubers. Markiplier came in three years ago. Which was a relative boom for YouTubers. 2010 to 2012. Any of them that came out in that time, they got lucky. They got the sweet spot, so to speak. Now, for you in 2015 or in the future, hi people from 2026, is fat back yet? It better be. But... For you all who don't want to do Let's Plays, you want to do your own thing, whether that be comedy or whatever, you got to have a niche. And the reason why is your niche is what people come for. That's about it on that, though. I mean, if you want to be comedy, you got to have, you got to be funny, but at the same time, you got to be able to make your own jokes. Me? I can't make my own jokes, except that I'm the fat man. But that's not a joke, it's real shit. So don't call yourself the fat man. You're not. Unless you are a fat guy or a fat girl, then yeah, you can call yourself the fat man or fat woman. No hate to fat people. <clears throat> but if you don't have a niche, you're probably not going to make it. If you do have a niche, you might just make it. Hell, you might even be more famous than I am after this video. And with that being said, this is Tony Redgrave signing off. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment especially, favorite, subscribe, and share. Sharing is caring, and sharing us with, and sharing my videos helps me care for you, and you care for me. Peace.